ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stan Osa and welcome back to Overanalyze, which is of course our awesome Overwatch coaching series. But before we get into the video, guys, there is a beautiful Unit Lost store because all of you fans out there that know rank, it really doesn't matter. You can buy a beautiful gold limited edition. This thing is only available for a couple of days. T-shirt from the new Unit Lost store. Go and check it out, guys. There's also a normal T-shirt as well if you want the classic Unit Lost logo. And also there are hoodies and stuff like that. It's, it, there's all kinds of stuff on there. It's beautiful. Go and check it out, guys. There's also a competition running on that store as well. Um, details will be in the description of this video and all of that good stuff. Go and check it out. All right, let's get into this. So if you'd like to send a video in for consideration for this series, follow the instructions that are on the screen. What we're going to look at today is Reinhardt. This is a 3,584 rated master Reinhardt player. This is a borderline master player. This is going to be very interesting because it's Reinhardt on Volskaya Industries and Reinhardt, let's just play, in fact before we play this and before I give you a little bit of a rundown, I guess we can look at the team first. Um, in fact no, let us let me give you a bit of a rundown of what you need to do with Reinhardt at this level before we get into the clip. I like Reinhardt to be very vocal at this level because you are the person who initiates. You are the person, well not so much initiates but makes the space for the initiation. It's all about making space, managing space, creating space for your team so they can do stuff, right? That's making openings for DPS. You know, that's maybe out mind gaming the enemy Reinhardt so you get your earth shatter in so your team can follow through. It's a very vocal role. It's a very frontline role. It's a very strategic role because the fact is anybody who plays Overwatch can hold right mouse button down and stand next to their team. Anybody can do that. It's much like Lucio, right? Any Lucio player can sit there with the heel song on and just run around their team. But a great Lucio does so much more. A great Reinhardt does so much more. People are all, they're mistaken as well. They think Reinhardt is not a character you can carry with. Well, he really is. Because if you play him properly, if you exploit space, if you give your team opportunities, you, you can just absolutely hammer teams. All right, so let's check out the team. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be the team because there's only four seconds left, although we can uh, obviously go back if there's any swaps. So what we've got here is a Volskaya all-in first point defense, basically. So we've got uh, you on the Reinhardt, which is awesome. We've got a Roadhog, we've got a Mercy and a Soldier, and then we've got a Torb and a Symmetra. Now, honestly, this isn't too bad. Like, I don't really like Mercy's solo healers, um, but the good news is Hog and Soldier, they've both got their own sustain, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I would like it if this was an Ana. Anyway, let's get stuck into this and let's see what happens, because what I'm looking for, as I say, is a lot of communication, and I'm looking for... Um, well, actually, I'm going to show you when you should be making space. Because, as I say, most Reinhardt players, they stand there and they just press right mouse button. And it's not great. There is also one little issue uh, with Reinhardt right now in the game. Is dive comp is so prevalent. Especially at this level and above. I'll be very surprised if the enemy team doesn't have dive comp. So what I mean by that is they will take Winston as their main tank. Possibly a D.Va as um, well. Guys, I'm probably going to set up a shield gen. They'll have uh, Genji or Tracer, stuff which they can just dive in really quick onto you and start doing damage. This is a problem for Reinhardt because he can't really protect his team when this happens. Reinhardt's great if the other team have got a Reinhardt and you can outplay him, that's awesome. However, what we're looking at here is a pretty standard setup position. Um, I don't think in this video, I, I can pretty much tell you right now, I don't think it's going to be worthwhile me actually doing my, uh, you know, I show you guys what I want. Um, with my own examples in custom games because you're pretty much standing in the actually you know what let's just pause this right now i've got a massive tip for you here um let's just jump back a little second because the problem here is you should really okay this is good what you can do here when the timer gets to maybe three seconds right what i always do here on ball sky is i'll stand here yeah when it gets to three seconds that's when this hits three I'll move to the side here, and from here, you have got line of sight directly down into their main spawn door. You fire strike that. You could potentially get 20, 30, 40. I mean, if you really look, you could get a lot of ultimate charge off that. Instead, you haven't done anything, and you're just sitting here and waiting for the enemy team to come through, um, which they're about to do. And I guess you're probably just going to go for a more standard sort of fire strike, which goes down into this direction. So we'll see what you do. Okay, so... Obviously, we're just going to be set up in a normal defensive position here on Ball Sky, which is fine. You can set up much further towards the back, but that's more of an advanced strategy. This is this is fine, especially with the Symmetra. You know, we're trying to hold the choke. And, uh, 
All right, we've not used Fire Strike yet. We're now throwing it down. Uh, we managed to get a hit, which is okay. They've got dive comp. So this is now a big, big warning thing. It's like, okay, they're dive, they're dive. We've managed to take... Actually, we, we're doing a lot of work here. So we've killed two of them. We've stopped the dive. We don't need our barrier up now, do we? We've, we've got to really look at, at basically ma managing this, right? This is a massive thing that you have to do with Reinhardt. Poor Reinhardt will not manage their barrier. This barrier being active right now is absolutely pointless. You've got to drop the barrier. Just back up and drop the barrier. Like, what are they doing? Uh, yeah, just chill. Uh, now we've got Farrah coming back. You see, like, now we can bring the barrier back, up, uh, barrier back up. But if we dropped it earlier, we'd have more charge on the barrier. Also, I'm s there's no voice comms off you as well. And I know you've got your microphone because I can hear you tapping the keyboard. Uh, what, what, why, 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 why did we let him die? Like, there's a very frustrating thing with Reinhardt, is people don't use your barrier, right? It, it pisses me off to no end, when, like, the soldier or whatever just doesn't use your barrier. Watch this. Watch the guy coming from the right. Yep, yep, the Symmetra. You could have saved her there. You should have saved that Symmetra. You didn't, and she's dead. That is really bad. If Symmetra dies on the first point, before she can get down her ultimate... It's that's well, like so much said that it's not good. We're pretty much done now. I think we're getting attacked from behind. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Uh, so while you could have kept Symmetra up there, would that have changed the fight? Maybe because Symmetra might have dropped down a telly. Maybe she was close to it. You never know, right? So there are, yeah, Reinhardt is all about these little minor things, little things which happen, which if you do them better than the enemy Reinhardt or you just do them anyway, it can make a big difference. Now we're going into the final point on Volskaya here. Uh, th I guess you're going to go for a cheeky fire strike. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. Like, they don't have anything that can really benefit from hit, taking the fire strike. There's no Zarya who can charge herself up and do damage. Yeah, sure, they're going to get ultimate charge for their supports through healing. But you want to get your Earth Shatter because Earth Shatter oh, is a really powerful ultimate right now. A super there powerful ultimate. Oh, she's dead. Good job. That's, nice, actually, nice, that's nice. really nice there. This okay, so let me, let me just watch this play out for a second. But you are getting pretty Lucky's close. Up. Actually, I'm just going to pause this. Eat. You should be screaming. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Scream. You've got to talk to your team. Um, you're not talking to anybody. The point I'm trying to make with the Fire Strike, the Earth Shatter, it's so powerful here because it hits the whole area. Like, you can pretty much just Earth Shatter everybody. Um, this is looking really rough for us now because we've lost two people to the Hanzo. And we're just sort of standing in the middle, you know, blocking, which is like, it's okay, but what are we actually doing here? We missed with a fire strike. You're not very good with fire strikes. Um, try and preempt where the enemy's going to be and fire them down into chokes. It's very easy to do it. Uh, like that—that that was abysmally bad. That was a really bad fire strike that you missed there. You shouldn't miss them when they're that close. If you'd hit those two previous fire strikes, you'd have earth shatter now, and then you could earth shatter into them. You're going to get earth shatter very shortly, so it's not really that much of an issue. Another thing as well. In terms of communication with Reinhardt, tell your team when your barrier is about to go. They cannot see the health of the barrier. Yes, they'll see the cracks in the barrier, but this soldier's coming from behind. But they won't know. Diva's really done a number on him. Yeah, that was good reactions there. That was good reactions anyway. You went, you collapsed onto him and dealt with it. Okay, so actually, we seem to be holding quite well here. That's a res, maybe not, because she's been destroyed. That's cool. So yeah, communicating the health of your barrier is essential. What I generally do, um, because I play a load of Reinhardt, would be, I'd say, barrier 1k, barrier 500, barrier gone. Or dropping barrier. You've got to let your team know when you're going to drop the barrier, because if somebody's standing right next to you using that barrier to survive, and then you drop it, and they don't expect that you're going to do that, they can die to spike damage. And the Hanzo here is a bit of an issue, because he can just one-shot pretty much all of your team, apart from you. Um, which obviously is not what you want, right? Um, so dropping the barrier randomly, yeah, not great. Okay, so they're coming in strong now. We really need to... I'm going to pause this. We, this now is prime, absolutely prime Earth Shatter material. We know they're coming in very strong. The Winston has just jumped into the back line, right? Is the Winston your problem? Not really, right? Because you need to stop, as you are stopping, this massive damage coming in from the Farah and the front-loaded rush, which is going to come through. You can stop that with Earth Shatter. The thing with Earth Shatter is, though, it's great if you know what other ultimates are available on your team. You've got a D.Va, right? If you've got a D.Va bomb, the D.Va bomb and Earth Shatter is massively powerful and it, it interchanges, right? You can either throw the D.Va bomb first, everybody turns around, then you Earth Shatter them. If they've got a Reinhardt, for example, which could block your Earth Shatter, he'll generally turn around. Or you Earth Shatter first and D.Va follows up with the bomb. I don't know what her ultimate is on because you're not showing me the score screen. Please show me the score screen. So what I'm looking, I'm looking to do now playing this here is push forward. If they come through, I'm going to Earth Shatter. But we've got two picks here. 
They've also got two picks. This is earth shatter material now. Like, we should be earth shattering through into this. I've got to pause this here. This is such... Well, maybe you do it. This is earth shatter material. Right, that's huge. Fire strike through. Yeah. So, what you'd be looking to do... I'm just going to run this back. So, what you'd be looking to do here is... I don't think your fire strike is up when you drop this. So, you're going to earth shatter now. Swing, then you fire strike. You swing again. Okay. Generally, if you've got fire strike up, which I'd imagine you were going to do, if you've knocked people down and they're in line like that, you fire strike through them, then start swinging. The worst thing to kind of do is charge. Never really charge when you knock down a massive number of people, unless you really want to kill one of them, right? Because you'll do more damage if you just keep cleaving away, swinging away at all the bodies on the floor. That was a good use of the Earth Shatter. I think it was a little bit delayed. I would have done it a bit earlier. But Zen was using his ultimate, and that kind of did, you know, wear off by the time you used yours. So it was okay. But it is very strong on this point. Like, no, Reinhardt right is strong on this point right. anyway. But I just don't like the fact just that you're not communicating to your team. You're relying on your team to communicate. I bet you get into games where it's a defeat because there's not enough information because you're not active on the microphone. Be active on the microphone, especially at this level. This isn't lower level. This is a higher level game. You should be talking. I'm, I'm happy with what you're doing with your swinging as well. When they dive onto you, swinging away and bashing into them is great. I'm not happy with your shield management. It really needs work. It's kind of pointless bringing the shield up when we're not going to absorb any damage. Oh, there's no damage to be absorbed. I think I understand what you're trying to do is uh, stop the Hanzo damage coming through and, and whatnot, but... I'd prefer it if you recharge your barrier fully because you don't want to get charged and, uh, or like a team attack you and just wipe out your barrier. It's not going to be great because if you don't have a barrier with Reinhardt, you're pretty much useless. Your reactions to the soldier have been great um, when his ultimate is up, but that's only because your team are telling you where he is. A lot of this play right here is anybody could do this with Reinhardt. Um, you just played it really safe. Um, I, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Like, it's okay. And it's not okay. It's okay in the sense of, I don't really want you running. Ah, okay. Let's just pause this. So it's okay in the sense of, we don't want um, you running off and getting killed. So staying with your team is is the fine thing to do. But there are a lot of opportunities where you could work in cheeky fire strikes. When you've knocked the whole enemy team back, there is nothing really stopping you walking forward to the choke here, throwing a fire strike down there, or even getting up onto this high ground, throwing a fire strike down. I'm not saying go off on a mad mission, but any little kind of extra damage you can get to charge this ultimate is what you're looking to do in this whole area because this ultimate is absolutely phenomenal here. It just shuts everything down. But now we've got an interesting dynamic which should start to uh, develop. This is an enemy Reinhardt. This is a good old Reinhardt versus Reinhardt. Now, there's loads of different things you can do in this and uh, let's see what you do. So yeah, this is free damage. Always take free damage when you can. If he wants to walk up to you and let you smash him with a hammer, rub up, rub up. hey, smash him with the hammer. Okay, Hanzo's coming from the side. He's been nano boosted, so this is... Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, so these are like crazy Reinhardt basic mistakes. I know what you're doing. You're like, holy hell, he is a nano boosted Reinhardt. That is going to smash my face in. Oh, God, my ultimate has just come up. I'm going to hit him. Now, I don't think... I don't think he expected you to have the ultimate there. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I think he just brought his shield up and it was lucky. Um, however, if you are a nano-boosted Reinhardt, a great tactic is just bringing your shield up like this guy does. <laughs> I think he did block that. I think he did. I think he's seen the animation of you going for it and he's turned at you and he's blocked you. He there has outplayed you. He has wrecked you, right? Completely wrecked you. Um, you have wasted your earth shot and it's done nothing. Um, however, it looks like D.Va is starting to, uh, you know fix things a little bit with her ultimate. Anyway, let me just go back again just to show you what's going on with this because what you've done here is panic earth shatter. You're like, okay, let's start swinging. Hanzo in the back line. I'm turning around. I don't really know what I'm swinging at there. Oh God, there's an nano boosted Ryan. Uh, my ultimate's up. Oh, I'm going to go for the big plays. Uh oh, he's blocked me. Um, he's still in my face. I'm looking to charge. I've got a kill, which is kind of lucky and it's on Anna, so it's a big kill. You're going to get rezzed and you should be able to turn this fight around. This is just, yeah, just swing, swing, swing. Okay, sweet. Charge. Fire strike. Charge back. Do something. Yeah, you got this. Cool. So that's okay, but but you were outplayed by the enemy Reinhardt there, and that is because you panicked. The worst thing you can do with Ryan is panic. Don't panic. Like, really don't panic. And that guy in the chat is an idiot and should be reported because there's no need to talk like that. Um, all right, so this... Oh, my God, what are you doing? This is wasted time. This... What, watch what you do here now. We've just smashed... We've killed them all, right? We've killed them all. So what I'm going to do 
is just stand here and do nothing. Go forward to the choke and launch fire strikes down into them. Really good players maximize their time. They are always active, always doing something. Sitting here doing nothing is not great. Like you could maybe have 80% ultimate charge now if you landed a beautiful fire strike. Instead, we just sort of, I don't know what we're doing. We're just walking about. We're not really communicating with the team. That was a point, like an absolutely pointless fire strike because now they're going to come through. You know they're going to come through and you, you, you won't have the fire strike. Let's go, Reinhardt. You did by the time they came through, but it was not great. Discord on the Reinhardt is... Did you? Okay. I think you just spoke That's there. Right Pretty much the first time I think I've heard you in this game. Okay, let me just go forward here because this okay. is... Uh, let me just find the point we're at. All right. So your fire strike just about comes up, but you Discord did waste Rhine the earlier fire strike, which wasn't great. Discord on the Rhine does mean start swinging, but you've got to be aware of the, the amount of damage coming in. Their whole That's team right was coming Discord forward Rhine there. You, what you, you've got to realize in your mind is, right, enemy Reinhardt was Discorded. Yes, I can swing at him. That's great. Will he have Earth Shatter? Probably, because he was nano boosted the last fight. And, and their whole team is coming through. So now I cannot swing. I'm going to have to bring my barrier up. These are all decisions Reinhardt players have to make. I think you might have blocked his Earth Shadow there. But, but Reinhardt... And then he's blocked yours again. Reinhardt players are a different breed of player. They're very unique in terms Discord of... Um, we need to get a barrier up here because we cannot afford to die. Yeah. You were kind of attacked from all angles there, so... It's okay. We might actually have res. Have we got res? Actually, soldier's gone big and... So I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um... But yeah, Reinhardt, it's a completely different kettle of fish. It's You have to... Being more casual... Well, not casual, but being more methodical with Reinhardt can help you out. In terms of creating space for your team to work with, <laughs> doing that, what you just did, was so horrifically bad. Um, I don't know what to say. Very lucky. Damn, that, that me switch is actually really good. <laughs> that was very lucky, because if they had somebody capable of getting onto the point... Uh, then you've just committed suicide yeah. there and your team are a man down before the fight starts. So one thing we didn't really cover in that game was creating space for your team to work with because we were on the defense and it's kind of a bit difficult there. However, on the attack, now this is what we're going to focus on. You have to generate space for your team. You have to communicate with them and tell them what you're going to do. You have to... You've got to do all of this, right? You can't just be walking forward with right click, hoping for the best and hoping you get carried because you don't want that you want to have a positive What's impact on the team uh, uh labrador dead. cock spaniel <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Did you say dead Jesus. wow <laughs> well cooked oh, dear. Oh, my God, it's dude. medium rare <laughs> oh, did you say well cooked i thought you said something else <laughs> all right so let's take a look at the team comp just looks the same with do we have a diva? We've got a Zarya instead of a diva. Hey, that's cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Reinhardt and Zarya uh, combo. So you want to be eating enemy fire strikes if they've got a Reinhardt or basically being a little bit more aggressive with a Zarya. But you need to know when the bubble's up. And again, this comes back to communication. If I want to be crazy aggressive on Reinhardt and I've got a Zarya, I'm only going to do it when she's got her bubble ready. And I'll say, Zarya, have you got your bubble? And she'll be like, yeah, it's up. And I'll just charge in, she'll bubble me, and it gives you so much more sort of margin of error, right? It doesn't, you don't have to be as uh, reserved, right? You can be crazy aggressive. But the big difference is between Reinhardt's, when you start getting up to the higher levels, and I think, to be honest, most Reinhardt's from Platinum to Master are generally the same sort of thing. They're very defensive. They're not that aggressive. And I think that is because if you play really aggressive, well, you can just throw the game. So it develops this sort of conservative style of Reinhardt but then as you start getting up into high masses in GM you have to become a bit more aggressive because you have to open spots all right so they've got a Symmetra we took they pointless damage off the Symmetra Orb I don't know what we're trying to do here this is really stupid we've got to go like you oh my god this is po this is really poor play this is horrendously poor you take damage here for no reason so we come through here we fire strike into that that's okay he fire strikes through we could have theoretically dropped our barrier so we didn't take the fire strike damage to the barrier although that would have been a bit dodgy because we would have took more damage we eat a symmetra orb we then drop our barrier and take more damage off symmetra's turrets we have just given symmetra like 20 30 percent of her ultimate charge she will have a teleporter very very soon and that is really stupid also we're standing in the choke like let's go to hog we I, yeah we can't do this. Uh, we just cannot. Are you going to be able to kill these 
we, ca we cannot do this. What you're doing here is is giving the enemy team a massive advantage. What are we? What the hell are you doing? You're just jumping from side to side, from side dog. to side, like la 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 la. Yeah, I'll try and save the hog, but hog hog hog. Now he's yeah, dead. Oh well, soldier's dead. Oh 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 oh. Sometimes it would be better to maybe go to a Winston in this case, but I don't think your team's exactly set up for dive. So I don't know. Like Winston would get rid of the turrets easier, but hey, let the DPS worry about that. The Reinhardt is still okay. We've got it. We need a plan. We need a goddamn plan, right? We need an absolute plan. I'm going to tell you what I always do on this point because I really like doing this and I think it screws teams up. So to attack, right, you can either go this way, you can go in behind there, down there, take the high ground, or you can go in straight to the point that way. Uh, or you could go this way. But going that way is probably a big no no because most of their team is going to be sitting there. You need a plan. You, guys, we're going to go past the truck straight to the point. And then we just run straight in. We're not going to wait in the choke because waiting in the choke, it, and I think I've covered this in other Volskaya Industries um, overanalyzed I've done, is the worst thing you can do. Like, players do this on Hanamura as well, and it's so bad. Like, anywhere, or, or like Anubis, don't do it. Initiate on the this enemy. You've got to try and make space. Okay, this is better. We're moving past the truck. But this has just happened through sheer luck. Like, nobody is actually saying, let's push, let's do whatever. Nice. Now, oh, now we're looking to get aggressive. Son, we're looking to get aggressive. Now, I would be shouting, going, Zarya, you know, give me the bubble or whatever. I'm going in, I'm going in. You could charge into that. Let's go to Hanzo. Now it's, now it's risky because we've got no barrier and we're just basically taking damage. And Yes, it was still risky anyway because there was a hog, but I would have gone straight into that. Like, I... I I am a little bit aggressive as a Reinhardt, but I would have gone into that trying to open space. Because what's happening here is you're not making space for your team, right? They are walking back onto the point. Look at all their players here. They're walking back on the point. There's possibly going to be ultimates coming into play soon. I think Symmetra's over there as well. And they're smashing you. You're just sitting there and getting smashed. Your barrier is gone. Now you're in a very dodgy situation. So what do you do? Zen's starting to smash you and you die. That is because you did absolutely nothing. You did nothing. We can only hope that we get rezzed here or something. Or your team just basically carry you. Because that's what's been happening a lot in this game. And I know this might sound harsh. But this is because I'm trying to change the way overanalyzed is done. From just like a really basic level to a more in-depth level. And hopefully as, as time goes on, we'll get more and more in-depth. But I've not been impressed with your play so far. And I think there's a load of issues with it. And hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get at. So trying to fire strike uh, Hanzo up there is fine. But... Uh, it's worth, worth a go. You should have shouted and said Hanzo's on, on the building or something. Hanzo high. Keep up, guys. You're doing well. We need to what start swinging. Yeah, just start Wow, okay. Unlucky. Hanzo's going big. Okay, Rez should fix this. We should be able to swing, 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 swing. Okay, that's... that's. very good, Hanzo. He was good. Fuck off. Okay, they switched them. Okay, let's pause this. So, what we've got here is you have your Earth Shatter. You're the only one with an ultimate up. We don't know what the other team members have got. You could maybe ask them what your ult percentage, guys, because to, the way to win on Ball Sky is smash them with ultimates or snowball them really quick. So you've got two options here. Your team either goes straight into the point and just try and kill them all with whatever you've got available, or the fact that we've got five minutes and 30 to charge all our ultimates up and then kill them in a massive ultimate death ball. That is what you do when you get to high levels in this game. You don't just go in and try and, like, pop your ultimates and hope for the best because it just ends in this massive grind fest and you have ultimates the enemy has ultimates and it doesn't really yeah, go anywhere right let's see what happens actually there was a, a nice call there from the roadhog which said work on the reinhardt shield that is something you should be shouting about now right you've got earth shatter destroy the reinhardt shield then you've got a free earth shatter into this however hanzo has just used his ultimate let's see where that goes through it actually doesn't go anywhere it gets destroyed you know what you could do here you could just turn around and flank you could flank them and earth shatter them yeah, but you're just going back to the point, on, on point. which is fine because our DPS is doing work. We don't really need to Earth Shatter just yet. If we can get the Mercy, if they, they have a Mercy, that's the third Earth Shatter we've thrown away. No, no, they don't have a Mercy. They've got the Anna Zen combo. Okay, this... All right, we're just going to jump back a bit because that's the end of the game there, but you were carried a little bit there. That there was a complete waste, a massive whiff of that. And if you'll notice what, hap what happens here, you could hit the hog, right? I wouldn't have hit the hog there. Now, I would have been looking for an Earth Shatter, right? I noticed that Reinhardt's coming through, but I'm not just going to Earth Shatter like you did there. It's these panic ultimates. Like, imagine shutting down that Roadhog, right, with the Earth Shatter. would have been a bit better. He Maybe he could have done work or whatever, but he didn't. Your team took him out. But the panic ultimates, you've really got to get out of that. It's, it's not great. 
It's not a great look. <laughs> it really isn't a great look. Because the, the worst thing you can do... Uh, well, let's just pause this because I think that's the end of the recording. But the, the worst thing you can do with Reinhardt is panic at any moment in the game. You have to be steady. You have to be methodical. You have to think, will I charge now? Am I going to move forward? Do I want the team with me? Am I going to use my ultimate? What's the enemy Reinhardt doing? Now, there are some other tips that maybe I could have showed you with one of, one of my little example videos, but I don't think it's entirely worth it. But jumping forward, jumping, activating your shield, dropping it, activating your shield, dropping it, makes you move faster than just walking forward with your shield at the cost of a little bit of defense because it means they will be able to fire through your barrier but it's only for a split second because you can keep bringing it up and bringing it down so you can use that to reposition yourself the other thing is knowing when the enemy reinhardt has earth shatter and it's very easy to know this because reinhardt can charge his ultimate very fast when a massive melee is broken out, right? So if you're smashing the enemy Reinhardt and he's smashing you, you've probably got very similar ultimate charges. So then what you've got to do is get to the point of thinking, right, okay, what I need to do now is out mind game this Reinhardt. So I need to bait his earth shatter. And you can do this in a number of ways. You can become really aggressive. So running towards him, swinging your hammer, and then bringing up your barrier, like at random points, will probably make him think, oh, I'm going to earth shatter, and you might catch it. Or dropping your barrier in anticipation of them bringing it back up can bait him into doing it. Obviously, it's all very risky because without the barrier up, you're going to take a ton of damage from the enemy team. Reinhardt is a beautiful character in this game. It's such a different character compared to every other hero. You have to really be strategic in what you're doing. You, your reactions have to be great, sure. You have to look for examples to charge in. Like again, with the Reinhardt versus Reinhardt um, situation, if he charges you and you know it's going to hit you, you have to counter charge him because what that will do is knock both of you to the ground instead of you being pinned by him simple things like that once you get used to doing that you become a much better Reinhardt player but what I want you to take away from this video is please be active on the comms please try and direct your team so as in the example on the, the, the start of the uh, attack on Volskaya you just stood in the choke and let yourself die basically you should push forward and say guys follow me we're going to do this and it will be you'll just win more games it'll be much more effective because I think you kind of did get carried in that game a little bit all right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylosa and this is Unit Lost. If you'd like to send a video in for consideration for this series, then do so following the instructions on the screen. And don't forget, there is a new Unit Lost store, which is now available, and there is the limited edition Rank Doesn't Matter t-shirt. So if you go to any events or anything like that, and I'm at those events, so like Gamescom or BlizzCon, and you've got that t-shirt on, we'll know who the hell is Unit Lost, and it will be beautiful. All right, guys, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Join the Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost, and I will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.